Hello and welcome to Virtually Real Applications. My name is Ron Banzetta and this is a real application for you. This video series is uh, split up into a few parts. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to uh, Victoria, BC. We're at the Atrium, uh, downtown Victoria. And so it's probably a little weird to and while planning these presentations, I knew that some of this information would sound a little bit weird to just about everyone, including myself. For example, there are four main medicinal cannabinoids, each having their own very specific treatment options, activation temperature ranges, and subsequent degradation pathways. And these simple activation temperature ranges are intended to help explain the progressive nature of activating the alternate treatment options within the cannabis plant. The weird part is that there are two forms of these medicinal cannabinoids at the acidic level. There are long chain carbon bonds and short chain carbon bonds. So in theory, there are eight possible combinations of plant genetics that can be utilized and studied as alternate personal treatment options. And both of these cannabinoid chain types follow similar activation and degradation pathways. In the bigger picture, provided by common sense and logic, we can see that there is a mirror image of all the medicinal compounds at the carbon bond level and possibly at the plant genetic level as well. And, therefore, acidic compounds must be considered the starting point for building a common foundation for cannabis treatments. For more information on medical cannabis temperature charts and other related diagrams like these, please contact our main website at vrap.ca under the resources page through your local browser. Comments and suggestions are always welcomed. Thank you, everyone, for your help. Cheers.